The era of sea gliders has begun. This is how a very young Rhode Island-based company called Regent Craft characterized the moment when the world's first full-scale crewed sea glider was taken out to sea and performed its first on-water tests. Regent is a name we've come across before, and one we'll probably come across a lot in the not-so-distant future if its plans unfold as expected. The company was founded five years ago with the goal of making all-electric sea gliders that should revolutionize the transportation industry. The machine that'll get to do that is called Viceroy, and it will be capable of carrying up to 12 passengers on coast trips. Alternatively, it could also be used for cargo transport, including for the military, being capable of moving up to 3,500 pounds of stuff, and there are even plans to use it for emergency response. We don't know exactly what kind of powertrain the Viceroy will use, other than the fact it will be electric. A total of 12 motors will be on deck, six on each wing of the vehicle, fed electricity by batteries. The Sea Glider will be capable of traveling distances of up to 186 miles, although a more potent variant, which could go as far as 460 miles is also being considered. At 55 feet long and with a wingspan of 65 feet, it will be quite a sight off the coasts of the world, and also the largest ever all-electric flying machine flown to date. Why flown? Well, although this thing has been designed to operate on water, it will also be able to lift off slightly, using ground effect, here's how. The Viceroy Sea Glider will have three main operating modes. It can float on its hull like all other seagoing vessels do, it can move over the water using the embedded hydrofoils, and it can fly above the water at a distance of 30 to 60 feet of the surface, thanks to ground effect. As per the specs region already provided, when in flight mode the Sea Glider will be capable of traveling at speeds of up to 180 miles per hour. And that should make it ideal for use on short-distance routes between islands or relatively close locations on the coast. In October 2024, Region announced it had begun assembling the first prototype of the Sea Glider and now, just six months after that, we got word of it finally getting out at sea with humans on board. The prototype was named Paladin, and it was lowered into the waters of Narragansett Bay in Rhode Island. Once in its element, it started being put through its paces, but were not provided with the specifics of this first outing meant in terms of tests. Regent will continue to take the Paladin out over the coming months, floating it on its hull first, both at the dock and in speed-restricted waterways, then moving on to test the hydrofoils, and finally taking it out over open water for the first flight with humans on board. It's unclear how fast the company will move with production after that, but interest in the Sea Glider is increasing, Regent says that the Global Order book is now worth more than $9 billion. Given the fact that Regent once said there are around 600 orders placed for the Viceroy, that would mean the cost of one of these babies will be somewhere in the $15 million range. We know the names of several companies that have already expressed interest in the Sea Glider, and the list includes Alaska Airlines, Hawaiian Airlines, Japan Airlines, Mokulele Airlines, and United Airlines. Of them all, Mokulele Airlines is likely to become the first one to operate the Viceroy Sea Glider, sometime mid-decade. In doing so, the company, which describes itself as Hawaii's favorite island hopper, hopes to cut the price of a trip from Oahu to Maui to just $30, which would be significant, seeing how the journey presently costs $100. Separately, the U.S. Marine Corps has expressed interest in the Sea Glider as well, and it is currently looking at ways to include it in its missions, be them defense, logistics, or search and rescue ones. The number of orders placed already is big enough for Regent to have broken ground on a 255,000 square feet manufacturing facility, located in the Quonset Business Park in Rhode Island. The factory should be ready to roll as soon as next year. Also, in February this year, Regent signed a deal with Abu Dhabi-based investment company Strategic Development Fund to create a joint venture that will eventually build a Sea Glider assembly facility in the United Arab Emirates as well.